Hey YouTube, Jeffrey Howells Carpet Cleaning here, and we are in a care home today, and we've got ourselves six rooms, a couple large hallways in the front room, and a couple of area rugs to clean up today. Um, today we are beginning in this bedroom here. Um, the idea is that I'm going to ink cap everything, and then um, the rooms, depending on how bad they are, I may just ink cap them, but the hallway, we're definitely going to ink cap and then go back with a, a steam cleaning. Um, when I say end cap, we're not really using it for the purpose of end capping. Um, the backway products can be used vice versa, either as end cap or hot water extraction. So um, that's the purpose that we generally will put them to is hot water extraction use. However, um, with it, the, some of the area rugs that may or may not be as soiled, we may just elect to end cap them just so that um, it's less of an inconvenience for the tenants that are currently living here. All right, so we got our truck fired up and ready to go. We gave it a good scrub. Um, what we did is we came to this door, and I'm going to use this segment, which is about the last 20% of the job here. But um, what we do is we always run our hoses from the inside of the furthermost point. And I'm wanting to pull a little bit more slack of the solution line in because I'm needing a little bit more room when I'm working. Here, just a moment, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Alright, so this is where we begin, and we're just going to go ahead and extract these areas one by one. Alright, you guys, so without going through every single room, this is typically the average size room of the care homes. Um, they're usually arranged differently, um, depending on, you know, chairs and beds and that sort of stuff, so. But they're all typically about this size. Okay, you guys, this is where we came in, so I'm choosing to use this as a kind of a segue point for this wing side of the house, and then um, we will go over to this end of the house over here. It's just two rooms and a hallway there, but um, typically you would bonnet clean this, this orphan carpeting. Um, you guys probably all have different opinions and ideas and all that. Um, what happens with encapsulation, um, over time I do know that it builds up and I do know that we've bonnet cleaned this a few times before in the past. So what I'm doing right now is I'm establishing a baseline, I'm getting the carpets clean. They haven't been cleaned in about, a, excuse me, in about a year or so, so I'm getting them a good extraction. I know what the conditions are of them. And then the next time we clean we will do a bonnet cleaning. Kind of speed through here, do more of a maintenance style clean, but this just helps to get all of that uh, accumulated nasty debris and everything out of the carpet. Whereas the bonnet clean doesn't really do that; it pretty much uh, prepares the carpet for uh, for vacuuming and you know puts anti-resoiling agents back onto those fibers, which uh, causes them to resist soils from reattaching to them. So. In that case, this is what we've done, and that's why we've done it. All right, you guys, so we've just completed with our uh, pre-scrub CRBE and everything. Now, these are Olfen carpets, no piling. And look at all the goodies we got out of there. Um, this was uh, cleaned six bedrooms, two hallways, front room area, and two area rugs. So... We did cover quite a bit of, of ground, but um, I wasn't expecting that much lint and nasty stuff just to come off the carpets. Now, um, when you get this that amount of debris off the carpets, the, the carpets look amazingly brighter and cleaner at that point. Um, however, we're not done. We're going to back, go back over with a steam cleaning here. Pretty nasty water, you guys. Not supposed to be over there further, so it... Whatever. Anyways... It smells bad, it looks bad. Um, sure, ink caps could probably get bad, but you saw all the nasty stuff that we got out with the CRB. Would uh, anti resoiling agents and in your encapsulations release that stuff from the carpet fibers? I have absolutely no idea. I'm, I'm going to go uh, ask, ask around about that. I'm going to call them and ask if. Uh, the anti resoiling agents and let's say, like, uh, release it DS2 actually releases carpet lint so that they can be vacuumed up that I have absolutely no idea